In my previous video, I detailed the process of setting up a TradingView webhook, directed towards a Linux instance hosted on a cloud platform. This process was relatively straightforward, due to the accessibility of Linux machines via public IP addresses, enabling direct communication with TradingView. However, if you intend to route the webhook to a Mac or Linux system within your home network, you'll likely encounter the obstacle of being behind your internet service provider's home router. Unless you've been assigned a dedicated public IP address by your provider, your devices will operate within a private network confined to your home. So, the question arises, how does TradingView establish communication with your Mac or Linux system bearing a private IP address? Let's delve into this challenge. We need to find the IP address of the Mac first. You can use ifconfig and the adapter name to find the IP address. I have selected EN1, which is my wireless interface. It could vary based on your local configuration. Here, I have 192.168.1.71 as the IP address. We also need to find the default gateway IP address, which is typically your home router's IP address, unless you have a different setup, which is not common. You can use netstat command and find the default gateway. I have 192.168.1.254 as the IP address. But if you try to now give the max 192 address in TradingView, it will not be reachable. The reason is, these are private IP addresses and are only accessible within your home network. So, how do we solve this routing problem? Every home router will have a public IP address. Let's find that first. You can use any free services like What's My IP Address or Site to find out your public IP address or, you can log in to your home router and find them. Now, you can point this public IP address to the trading view and it will be reachable, but the API server is hosted on your Mac. So, we still have the problem. This is where the NAT port forwarding comes into the picture. NAT is nothing but network address translation. Port forwarding can be done along with it to make this work. For this, you will need to first connect to your home router. You can use the IP address which we already found using the netstat command. In most cases this will be the one. Then, you will need to find the firewall setting, where the NAT configuration will be present. Then, forward the port which is required to reach the MAC. In our case, we will use port 443 which is the HTTPS port. You can use port 80, HTTP. But I would recommend using HTTPS, since you are opening a port to your MAC and it's vulnerable to attack. Even with opening 443, it is still very dangerous to open any port to your home machine since typically the home firewall is not that great to protect you from attack. For this reason, would recommend you to set up something in the cloud, but this can be used for your development purpose or you think your home network is safe. My service provider is AT&T, here I have firewall settings and I can see NAT configuration. As mentioned, here the service is HTTPS. The device is my Mac. Let's add the port and we can see that the port 443 is now added in. From here, any external generated traffic incoming into your public IP address and to port 443 will be forwarded to the Mac. Now, we have full connectivity. But still we need someone to listen on port 443, so the TradingView webhook will be received. I am going to run Nginx in a Python server, which is going to serve the purpose of hosting the webhook within my Mac at home. I had already explained in detail about setting up a secure webhook in another video. I have linked that video in the description, but here I will go through at a very high level to show you the working setup. Edit your Nginx configuration and set the port to listen on 443 and also with the SSL option. Nginx is used here to make sure that your application is not directly listening on port 443, and do some of the SSL termination work at the Nginx layer. Here, I am forwarding the request to port 8443, which will process the request coming from TradingView. Save the configuration and reload Nginx. Now, open the Python web server and set the server to listen on port 8443, and also handle the URL coming from TradingView. Start the web server and you can see the server is listening on port 8443 using HTTPS. Now, let's go to the TradingView to set the right URL. Here, I am setting up the alert URL pointing to my home router's public IP. I have hidden the IP address for security reasons. I already have an alert set up for every minute for BTC if it goes above 40,000. 
Let's wait for the alert to show up on the Python server. Got it. We received the message. Hope the setup described was helpful for setting up the webhook at your home Mac. The same can be followed if you are running a Linux virtual machine inside your Mac or Windows. But, make sure to set the forwarding mode of the network for the virtual machine to be in bridge mode. Else, we will need to do a double NAT. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like to watch similar videos and help my channel. Thank you, see you in another video.